What up, though? And welcome back to Old School Hip Hop Head Real Reacts. I also have another YouTube channel called Reels Reactions. And on that YouTube channel, it's 99% old school golden era hip hop. So if you're ever in the mood to watch some old school hip hop reactions, all you have to do is go to the link that I'm going to put in the description of this video. Aye, man. I don't know how I got myself into this one, but here we go. So I guess it is officially beef season. Pause. And we got that boy Kung Fu Kenny, Kendrick Lamar, to thank for this. He set it all off with that, like that verse where he diss Jay Apology and Aubrey. You know what I'm saying? Ever since then, it's been pandemonium in these hip hop streets. You know what I'm saying? But now it's spilling over into the R&B world, yo. Like what the hell is going on? So shout out to the boy DJ for this request. This is Weakest Link. And apparently this is Chris Brown dissing one of them Migo niggas. I think it's Quavo, but I ain't 100% sure. Because I don't listen to the goddamn Migos. Y'all know my motto. I don't fuck with these new niggas because half of them is mumbling. Half of them is auto-tuning. And all of these niggas is them singing. And the Migos check all three goddamn boxes. You know what I'm saying? I do not fuck with these niggas. In my, in my opinion, the Migos are the original mumble rappers, son. You know what I'm saying? With that Versace shit. But anyway, I digress. Um, so apparently this beef started... Way back when these niggas did a song with French Montana. And don't ask me the name of that damn song. Because I don't listen to French Montana either. You know, my brother calls French the first retarded rapper. And I happen to agree with his ass. You know what I mean? Um, so, here we go. Uh, two niggas I don't listen to. That would be Aubrey and the Migos. <laughs> R.I.P. to the boy Takeoff, though. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, yo. I can't believe we about to have a R&B savage beefing with a hip hop mumbling savage. You know what I'm saying? But yo, I'm here for it. So let's get it. Now we can settle this like you got some class so we can get into some gangster shit. First of all, that's the Mac. And I'm surprised. Well, actually, I'm not surprised that Chris Brown knows that song <laughs> based on his his history with women. You know what I'm saying? He did go full Ike Turner on Rihanna in that car. Now, we can settle this like you got some class so we can get into some gangsta shit. Hey, Chris, I don't want no issues, bro. I don't want no smoke. I don't want fights. I don't want to do nothing, bro. Like, please, bro. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who want smoke with me? Who want smoke with C? Who want, mm, who want smoke with me? This thing is a drill rapper? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get down to the facts, pussy. I'm dripping red. Don't let this on b shit fool you niggas get ripped to shreds. Uh. Niggas talking like he a thug, nigga. You a bitch with dread. Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. What's all that ball shit you talking? You ain't no huncho, nigga. You the weakest link out of your clique. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You Damn. Ex, ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I fucked your ex when you were still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. I <laughs> 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 fuck your ex, bitch. When you were still with her, I'm up, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Breezy came on this motherfucking gang banger. This nigga said he was dripped in red. I thought he was done with the uh with the bloods after them niggas ran up in his crib, but apparently he's not. <laughs> yo, is this a drill song? Like, yo, Breezy's a drill rapper? Yo, so for the record, I don't listen to R&B, so I don't know Chris Brown's catalog. Besides for the shit that I heard on the radio or the videos I've seen where he was actually singing, so I could be like, oh, that's Chris Brown. I don't know this nigga's music. So, but I've been hearing people say, like, this nigga can rap. He rapping his ass off right now. I give him that. <laughs> All right, man. So, yo, we 52, man, 52 seconds in, but I think this nigga did do about five or six shots right out the bat. Yo, let me back up a little bit. Hell, <laughs> light-skinned nigga with anger management problems right here. What's all that bullshit you talking? 
you ain't no huncho nigga. You the weakest link out of your clique. Let's keep it a hundo nigga. Damn. My ex ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I fucked your ex when you was still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. Save revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that shit. I have to think about that shit. about that shit. I got some. Hold on, son. Yo, that's a good ass point. Oh, man. Oh, no. Yo. Uh. A successful R&B nigga is probably the last nigga you want to get into a battle with. That nigga say he might just sing about it. And you know when this nigga fucking sing, he going that this nigga's like the Michael Jackson of today's generation. So that shit going to be on heavy rotation, nigga. You will never be able to avoid uh hearing yourself get dissed, yo. This this yo. <laughs> yo, that's the big joker. He just pulled out the big joker on this nigga. Nigga, they say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that shit. I had a feeling about that dick. There's something sweet Damn. about that shit. I got some tea about that dick, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. I ain't playing chess tea? with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I shit on niggas. I'm a defecator. I put amigo on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste. I put amigos on a ventilator? Yo, you can't say that, Breezy. One of them niggas got his noodles knocked out. I ain't playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I shit on niggas. I'm a defecator. I put amigo on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste. That's devastating. You doing bad. You a bitch in your music trash. Fashion week. They say you <laughs> was lame ass. I was true. You doing bad? You a bitch in your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lane. Taste that's devastating. You doing bad? You a bitch in your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. Damn. I was thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. You lucky I ain't wanna fuck the money up, boy. I woulda broke you in half. Damn. You ain't trying to be tough. You ain't bad, right? You showing up. Quit talking about drugs. You know what? Kept thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. You lucky Damn. I ain't wanna fuck the money up, boy. I woulda broke you in half. Quit. Damn. I was wondering where he was going, where he was going when he said they sat him next to each other at what did he say, Fashion Week or some shit like that. That <laughs> nigga say, Nah, nigga, I was mad as a motherfucker. I couldn't punch you in your shit. <laughs> Yo, I might start listening to Chris Brown music. This nigga's a gangster. Hold on. <laughs> Is there any footage of him out there fighting? You know what I mean? I have seen him play basketball. And that nigga can hoop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, Breezy got all kinds of ghetto talents. Yo, music trash. Fashion week, they say that's just funny. We've seen the taste. That's devastating. You doing bad. You a bitch in your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. All I kept thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. Damn. Yeah, I ain't want to fuck the money up. Boy, I would have broke you in half. Quit trying to be tough. You ain't like that. Why you keep showing up? Quit talking about drugs. You the only pack that I've been smoking on. Damn. I my plug. Told him come back. I'm going to need more than one. Your last album was a weed trade. Just some bullshit that we roll up on. You know what's going put you to bed. Night, night, that's suited fed. Show me that I'm tender, bitch. Time to prove what you just said. RIP, take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, Damn. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That nigga say you tripping, Chris. Don't say that. <laughs> Yo, I thought the ventilator, the ventilator line was bad. Goddamn. Yo. <laughs> Ah, this nigga Chris Brown is crazy. Put you to bed, night, night, that's suit of Show me that I'm tender, bitch. Time to prove what you just said. RIP, take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Damn. You tripping, Chris? Don't say oh, that. Shit. shit. When he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit. You tripping, Chris? Don't say that. Don't lose your head. Damn. You done turned a big bad wolf on these fuck niggas. Never knew revenge. This what happens when a fuck nigga push a real nigga out to the edge. This what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and it get to his head. You gon' kiss this ring, nigga. Big Fuck you from my middle finger. I tattoo my trigger finger. Bring real beat to your dinner table. My mental state ain't never stable. I know this shit gon' sting, nigga. I ran your ass through the ringer, nigga. You just got body by a singing, nigga. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said so much. Yo, he said so much. I wanted to stop because I think that nigga said he was unstable or something like that. I had a comment for that, but the nigga kept going. So I, yo, I lost track. Let me back it up a little bit. This shit's crazy. <laughs> Revenge. 
what happens when a fuck nigga push a real nigga out to the edge. Yeah. This what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and it get to his head. You mm -hmm. kiss this ring, nigga. Big fuck you from my middle finger. I tattoo my trigger finger. Bring real beat to your dinner table. My mental state ain't never stable. I know this shit gon' sting, nigga. I ran your ass through the ringer, nigga. You just got body by a singing, nigga. Damn. You won. Damn. Yo, this is bad. This is bad. And that beat was hard. Yo. And he got this nigga. <laughs> he got this nigga with his mouth wide open inserting a Frank, my nigga. God damn. Oh man, damn. Yo. Wow. Yo, this nigga Breezy went fucking crazy, yo. <laughs> yo, this is a real fucking beef. He don't like this nigga. He don't like this nigga at all. But then again, Breezy's a savage. This just could be his normal savage reaction to some shit. Like this nigga might have just like stepped on his shoes. <laughs> nah, son, this was personal. But he he was fake. You know, like I said, I haven't listened to shit from none of these niggas. But it's a million thumbnails, shit on Twitter. This shit's everywhere, right there. With right now with all these niggas, right? <clears throat> this shit's everywhere with all these niggas right now. So. I've seen shit where in the headline it was talking about um, about you know this nigga was saying Breezy was was doing cocaine and shit like that. That's why he started talking about the only the only drugs I know is smoking you or some shit like that. Also, he made reference to uh, the um, what do you want to call it? the domestic violence shit. You know what I'm saying? But apparently, this nigga got caught on video in the elevator doing the same shit, which I haven't seen. You know what I mean? So yeah, this was personal, man. <laughs> I don't know if if Chris Brown said anything about this nigga before this, and it just all came out right now. Um, so I don't know if it's been a, a, a long lead time, a build up. Like, does this nigga have any diss tracks towards Chris Brown? You know what I mean? So yo, like I said, man, I do not know the backstory on these niggas or they situation. So if there's other shit that I need to be reacting to, that ties in with this diss track, like if there was one from Quavo before this, or or if these niggas had songs together where they was subliminally dissing each other, like let a nigga know, you know what I mean? All right, man, shout out to DJ for this request. On to the next one, I'm out.